Hello guys, in this video we will see how we can easily install Eclipse ID on Windows 10. So the current version of Eclipse is 2020-06-06. So we will see how to install on Windows 10. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Amit Things. Go to the following link and here is our channel. Click on subscribe to subscribe. Now we will see how to install Eclipse. But remember, before that you need to install Java on your Windows 10 operating system. So I have mentioned the link in the description as well to install Java on Windows 10, Java 13. So let us see the location of Java first. Go to C drive. We have installed under program files, Java and here it is Java 13. So this is the link. We have installed Java and we have also set the environment variables. So why I am doing this because for Eclipse you need to set the link for Java JDK as well. So now we will see how to download and install Eclipse. Go to the browser, type Eclipse and press enter on typing. Now you can see the current version is 4.16 released on June. So the name is 2000-06 release. So here you need to just click on download here. Go below. The following is a download 64 bit. So I'll click on it to download. Here now you can see the link is visible. Click on it to download. So the download started. Now wait for a few seconds. So guys, we have successfully downloaded the Eclipse 2000-06 version, the Eclipse ID exe file for 64 bit. Here it is. Now double click to install. Now the Eclipse installer has started. So these are for different languages. If you want for Java, click on this. For C++, click on this. If you want web development technologies, click on this. Or for PHP development, click here. So we want for Java. So what we'll do, we'll click on Eclipse ID for Java developers. Click on it. Now here you can see on clicking, it has set up the link for JDK 13. So if you remember, this was our path JDK 13 and we needed to add it here but it got added on its own. So here we need to set the Java path and we have added it successfully. The installation folder will be this. If you want to change you can change from here. Click on here and change it. We will keep the same. If you want to create a start menu entry and a desktop shortcut keep it as it is or you can remove this. I will keep it as it is and click on install. Here read the agreement. Eclipse agreement, short for user agreement and click on accept now. Now the installation has begun. Now guys the installation is completed. It is written. I can straight away launch it. I will click on launch. We have successfully installed 2020-06 that is June version of Eclipse ID. So here guys we need to set up the Eclipse workspace. Eclipse workspace is a space wherein all the project files directory gets saved. It also consists of all the config info as well as plugins. So you can change the name from here or the location of the workspace. I'll keep the default and I'll set it as the default and do not ask again. Now I'll click on launch. The Eclipse has started now. I'll maximize it. Here go to help. Click on about, about Eclipse ID. Here you can see 2000-26 version. So now we will see how to create a Java project quickly and run it. Go to file. Click on new Java project. Here enter the project name. Amit demo. Now location if you want to change the default location would be Eclipse hyphen workspace. If you remember we have set the same location for workspace. So the project as I said the project directory and the files will get saved here. So it will get saved here under Amit demo. Here keep the keep the execution environment as it is. If you remember we have set for Java 13 path while installing. Now I will click on next. We are working on a simple project. Here you can see the build settings is visible here the output folder will be bin under amid demo we will keep the same and click on finish 
here I'll uncheck this module hyphen info dot java file because we don't need it right now we are working on a simple project after uncheck click on finish now here is our project amid demo source file now I'll right click and create a new class file I've clicked on class now I'll set a package also so I've set the package name as example and the source folder would be under amid demo hyphen source src now set the name of the class file let's set it demo class and keep it as public rest everything keep as it is and I'll select public static void main and click on finish now here is our demo class dot java file under example package if you remember now I'll increase the font first go to windows preferences here type font here it is color and fonts here under text editor I've set it 14 now I'll again set it to 14 here and that's it I'll click on apply and close here it is now it's visible you can easily drag it here or I can just click close this welcome okay that's fine now here it is our demo program hope you know in Java class file what does happen it is a package we created a package inside we'll be having a lot of classes right now we have created only demo class dot Java this is our link public is a modifier default public static void main and now our sample code system dot out dot print ln here I'm typing a code now while keeping the cursor here it would be visible that system is our class that is having fields and methods like out out is our standard output stream to print and print ln is our method to print a string and it also terminates a line because we have added print ln if I won't add print ln it won't terminate a line I have added print ln now here it is now no error is visible I'll go to run and run it yes I want to run the demo class okay now you can see the output same output is visible here now let's print this and understand the value of print ln and print so here it is now I'll set it as next line now since we have added print ln above there the next line will come under next line let's print it run again okay now next line if I remove if I'll remove this the next line won't come in next line because we haven't set print ln here I'll run again okay now you can see it is visible in the same line so I'll set ln and run again run and I'll save it for future use because I don't want this dialog box to be visible again and again I'll click on OK now both the lines will be under separate lines here you can see so guys in this way we can easily work on a Java project in Eclipse ID in this video we saw how we can easily download and install Eclipse ID we installed Eclipse current version which is the 2020-06 version and we also learned how to create new Java project in Eclipse we created a new Java project under that we created a new package a new class file and we also ran a sample program guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it subscribe to Amit Things YouTube channel